Hello friends, Satish Tiwari here from Digital Hacking Tuition Center, Jaipur. And today, I am going to tell you how you can simply install Telnet server or how you can uninstall Telnet server from Ubuntu machine. Okay, so you can see this machine, this is an Ubuntu Linux machine. And if you want to check the IP address, you can check the IP address using sudo if config command. And you can see the IP address of this machine is 192.168.29.11. So first of all, our task is to understand what is Telnet. Telnet is a remote login program. It means one can remotely log into your system through Telnet if Telnet service is running on your system. <coughs> okay. So let's first of all, what we need to do, we have to update the repository. So sudo apt update run this command to update the repository after updating the repository we will install the telnet uh, service the package for telnet clear the screen using clear command and then it's time to install the telnet package how to install sudo apt install telnet d very simple telnet d and press enter okay press y for yes yes we want to install so press y and installation is going on now you can see installation has been completed now we are going to enable the firewall so sudo ufw enable so this will enable the firewall okay now clear this screen and now allow the telnet service inside your firewall so that firewall will allow a remote login so just type sudo ufw allow and the port number for telnet that is 23 remember 10 23 is the telnet port number okay <coughs> just done now telnet is running on this system we have already user satish with password red hat so you can see i am presently logging with satish user so now you can remotely log in with any machine whether windows or linux i am going to my windows machine going to command prompt okay on, on the command prompt i i am typing telnet 192.168.29.11 which is the ip address of my ubuntu machine then type press enter you can see it's asking login yes the username is satish asking for password password is simply red hat in my case and here it is i'm logging we can see i can clear this screen and i can see who is logging who am i and say <coughs> that some command not found if you just type who so it's telling okay satish is remotely logging to this system with which ip 208 208 is the ip address of my windows machine if you want to confirm you can check you can run ip config and you can see this is the ip address of your windows machine 192.168.29.208 okay so what's this machine telling? This machine is telling that someone is remotely logging to your system with this IP, 208 IP. You can also go to Ubuntu and check. You don't who command and it's telling that someone is remotely logging to your system with this IP and user Satish. Okay. So in this way, we can configure Telnet. Remember, <coughs> while you are configuring Telnet, you have to buy on many Windows machine by default, uh, Telnet client software is not installed. So you have to go to control panel. Okay. Go to control panel, go to programs, then go to turn windows features on off and from here you have to enable the telnet client features. Okay, you just tick and click on OK and telnet client software will be installed. I hope you understand how to configure telnet. In the next video, I will come with some other topic like how to configure SSH and how to configure Nginx web server or Apache web server on Ubuntu Linux machine. Just stay <coughs> and keep learning. Okay, and stay here watch the full video don't skip anything and if you are watching everything you will be able to successfully configure all the servers on ubuntu linux machine and this is required for your cyber security lab thank you thank you for watching